Yolanda's 52. You call me from Chicago. Stay in the light, boo. You talk to like me. So do you have any kids? No, I don't have any kids. No kids. What do you do for a uh, living, baby? I'm a boss. I'm a you, boss. Yeah. I'm a boss? Okay, what, what are you a boss property, of, Yolanda? I do taxes. And, um, and that's it. No kids. She's a boss. Um, owns property. What kind of man you looking for, babe? Over six feet. Um, I want a beard. Um, he needs to be a, he needs to have his own money because I'm not, I'm not paying for no man. I'm not buying no man. I don't do all that one. You learn to how tall are you? Yep. You're five feet? You're five yes. feet even. Why does the man have to be six feet tall? What's wrong with me, Wanda? Have you ever had a tall yeah, man in your 52 years of life? Have you had a tall man that made a lot of money before? No. No. So the man that you the man that you're asking me for at 52, you've never dated in your whole life? Six feet, yeah. But probably not the money. Probably no, not all the money. Probably not the money. No, no, probably all not the money. Probably not the money. Probably not the money. I got my own money though. I got plenty of that. I got my own money. I just bought me a whole boat. I ain't playing with these these guys. I ain't playing what? with them. Hold on. Hold on. Really? This woman, this she said she just bought a boat. We'd have had another woman up here talking some boat madness before. What the what kind of flex is that for a woman? She said, I just bought a boat. I ain't playing with these ninjas. What? Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Can you say, hey, hey, Pearly Bay. G good evening, Pearly Bay. What do you do for a living? She said, Can you this mic on? <laughs> I'm a boss. I'm a boss. I do what bosses do, Kendra. I got a boat. I got a big house. <laughs> and I'm ready to clash meets with whom? At the tender age of what? What is she, 60? 52. 52. 52, 62, tomato, <laughs> god dang on tomato, tomato. 52, 62, who cares? This is insanity. Somebody go say, I like her dimples. <laughs> Y'all the mother suckers, man. Y'all hear her. She giving Kendra fits. Kendra like, you what? woman, what's wrong with you? Kendra trying to ask her what's wrong with her. Oh, here we go. So is the money a requirement for yeah, you? Yeah, because if I got my own and I got boats and jeeps and cars and property, he got to have something because I, I don't, you're not going to play and dry my stuff. But what do you do what? with the man that you are for saying is a requirement? I've been for five. I don't play with him. Oh, so that's fine. So you're okay if that is your life sentence, if you never date again and just celebrate. Yeah, I'm cool until with that. If that's what it got to be, I, that's what it got to be. I'm not trying to encourage you to, to date a man that makes less money. But let's talk about the type of man that try to date you. Describe the man that, that you I want to date. date. No, no, no. Not who you want to date, date. Because that's what I think a lot of people are missing. I know who you want to date. The question is, does that person want to date you back? So just tell, enlighten me the type of man that you to I feel like they're being intimidated you. by me. Because my stuff is together. You know, I ain't worked a job in 14 years. I'm, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? So guys be intimidated because they want to feel needed. You know what I'm saying? And I don't need a man. I want one. So it's not required that I have a man. Y'all need air to breathe. But I don't, I don't need a man. I can take care of myself. You know what I'm saying? But these guys, they be so intimidated. And you got so many women out here that's taking care of men. So it makes it more challenging for women that, you know what I'm saying, that can hold their own ground. Okay. So she says, in her experience, men are intimidated. So you said he has to be tall. He has to make money. What are what are he your other smoke. requirements? You know them cigarettes and them cigars. I don't I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? He must be um, family oriented. You know what I'm saying? Love his family because you got guys out here that you know the way that they put women down. They couldn't possibly love their mama. She on one. <laughs> This girl is on fire. This girl is on fire. This girl is on fire. This girl is on fire.
that part. That part. That part. She on fire, Joker Nutty Nate. Oh. Oh. That, is, that is unreal. Auntie said, Auntie said, I want a man. I don't need no man. I need air to breathe. I, I don't. Yeah. I got all that. I can't keep up with Auntie. She all gas. What was the last thing she said? Seriously, what was the last thing she she said? Something wild. What did she say? This is the last part. I think. Uh, I'm taking the back. So she say, <laughs> I can't even think straight, Mister Walk. I ain't gonna lie. I swear, it's I, it's like confusion, this, man. This I'm trying to this this where this stuff will rot your mind. I'm trying to tell you what is the last thing this goofy woman say it. Here we go. We take it back. We take it back a second. Here we go. It's required that I have a man. Y'all need air to breathe, but I don't. I don't need a man. I can take care of myself. You know what I'm saying? But these guys, they be so intimidated, and you got so many women out here that's taking care of men, so it makes it more challenging for women that you know what I'm saying that can hold their own ground. Okay. So she says, in her experience, men are intimidated. So you said he has to be tall. He has to make money. What are what are he your other smoke. requirements? You know them cigarettes and them cigars. I don't I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? He must be um, family oriented. You know what I'm saying? Love his family because you got guys out here that you know the way that they put women down. They couldn't possibly love their mama. That there you go. That, that, there you go. That. There you go. Order uh, 66. Yes, my lord. There you go. The way she said, she said, look here, Kendra. This boss chick here, she said, I've been on the intranets. I've been on the intranets and all that. And I see the way these, these ninjas talking about women and trying to hold them accountable. The way they trying to hold women, women accountable and, and do what's best for the group. There ain't no way in heck, Kendra, that they could be under order. I mean, uh, love they mama, you see. Huh? Uh, yeah. There ain't no way they could be uh, under order 60. I'm sorry. I keep. I'm sorry. Love they mama. Not under order, six, uh, order 66. Love they mama. Y'all ninjas. Look at, look at her face. Can y'all please observe these things? Look at her face. It's too many people in the chat right now who's. Big blowed out auntie, or no disrespect, wonky mama, grandmama, big ma done looked at y'all like that and and still an order 66 on 66 on your forehead, yeah. which is just they, they dictators. Look at her. You don't love your mama, do what I say before you suffer the consequences of order 66. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, here we go. Let's see if she can land this plane, man. Mm. But but you're putting men down, though, Yolanda. A man that doesn't make enough. I don't care. I'm just being 100. I ain't putting them down at all. Well, 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 well let, me, let me just say this. Because I do think it has to, I, I think if, if women are going to have the capabilities to, to speak their truth, men should have the same opportunity, right? Because you said men are putting women down. They don't love their mamas. Well, when you say a man isn't good enough for you, but well, Yolanda, you, um, when you say a man isn't good enough for you if he's not a certain height and makes a certain money, that could be considered putting a man down. Wow. Wow. Because what you're essentially saying that, let's just talk about height, right? A man can't change his height. So how he was born is how he was born. So if a man is not six feet, according to you, he's not good enough for you, correct? I won't say he's not good enough for me, but I like what I like. I would prefer. We can't see your face. I said, we can't see I your won't face. I won't say that we he's can't... not good enough for me, but I like what I like. I mean, I'm sure I don't want nobody that's standing right out of out of me. I might try him. I might, you know what I'm. So here's the deal. What? So so okay. So that's fair. That's your preference. So again, what I'm challenging right now is the way you said that men talking about women. They don't like their mom. We're gonna go over there. So an equivalent to a man can say, well, uh listen, yeah. man, go into this. You a fool, you know. Huh. That, that, yeah, it was a point. If it 
that was, was like a, the, if it was a sweet woman from her, that was expected. So. <laughs> it was expected. But that was a straight courtroom confession. She said, Kendra, he can't be half about my height because I might try him. Huh. I, if he tried to say anything to me, if he come in there and say, hey, hey, Bernice, you know, uh, the them dishes getting a little high in that, in that sink, she going to say, if you don't get out my face, if I try you. Huh. <laughs> Straight like that, man. Gatekeeper, baby. This is oh, the same. I don't want a woman who, for whatever reason, I'm not sexually attracted to and I and I might not be sexually attracted to a woman over the age of 47 so can he not have that right yes. like you have the right to say yes he has I don't want a man right. who's not talking yes he has that right okay. okay he has that right okay so money and I get this and this is why it is it is lopsided in our community because on my show in particular I got all the millionaire women that watch my show all the women that watch my show got six figures or more and, and the challenge is, I, I know, I, you already told, I'm talking about you, because you already told me. So what is the least amount of money a man can make? He can't make under six figures. What? So he can't make 90000 You know what, just because you said he can do ninety. Now, hell no, he can't make 90 because I make damn, I make two. No, he can't make 90 No, he can't make 90 so that's half of what the fuck I make. No, he can't what? make 90. Let me get back in the life for you. He cannot make fucking 90. No. Next question. Next question. She said 100K. $100 billion. Oh, gentlemen, silence. Now, Mr. Evil, it is the policy of the United Nations not to negotiate with terrorists. Really? So long. Negotiate with terrorists, Mr. Walker. At all. And this one here, oh my goodness. She said, hell to the no, he can't make 90K. She said, that's too low. I make 200K. She said, I'm I'm a Kendra. Kendra, she said, first thing I told you when I came on, I told you I was a boss. Don't be asking me about no less than six figures. You lucky I'm keeping it that low, Kendra. If this ain't hey. if this ain't a royal guard gatekeeper, I don't know who is. He said, no, remember Big Dom? She said, I ain't going to do that to <laughs> myself. That's what Dom said when we told her when she single by choice. And she said, <laughs> yeah. And she said, no, nah, you know what? That was her. They, they it dawns on them. They just be like, no, I won't no. do it. Won't do it. Won't do it. Oh. Cognitive dissonance. But y'all, this is these. Listen here. Today's modern mercenary woman shall perish from and due to delusion and cognitive dissonance. Delusion. <laughs> I'm throwing words at y'all tonight. Delusion and cognitive dissonance is going to wipe out <laughs> the majority of both queens just like an asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Shout out to Divine Photos. Appreciate the super chat. Says she's a lost cause. No man touched that age. Yeah, she said I've been single for 10 years. Ain't been intimate in five years. It's over for that box. Yeah. Boom, shakalaka. And, and been celibate in it for about <laughs> five years. How Come you on, can man. be intermittently celibate? Uh, bone, <laughs> bone Quisha Gatekeeper. Look at huh. her. Look at her. Look at her eyes. This is so bad. I'm, I'm afraid to hit play. We must. We must carry on. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. I'm going to be 100. I got a whole man. Look, no, he can't make 90. I'm being 100. You know what I'm saying? That's half of what the fuck I make. So how the fuck I look like selling for a nigga that's making not Hell no. Nope. I'm sorry, Kendra. And you are okay if you never meet a man yeah. that is six yeah, feet yeah, and makes yeah, over ninety feet. Next lifetime, God gonna bring me back a hole or a tree. Either what? One, I'm gonna take one. So this ain't my first time going through celibacy too. So I ain't. I'm not tripping. You know, what? this day and age is really challenging when it comes to dating, Kendrick. 
You know, you got women out here that paying for men and paying for trips. I'm not willing to do none of that. None of that. I'm sorry. But what happened? Let me, well, let me say this to you, baby girl. What happened if oh. you... I, I, listen, that's fine. But let me just ask. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just have this combo. And I hear what you're saying, right? And, that, and if that's not true, that's not true. I'm not trying to make it you. But let's say you get with a man that is six feet, makes a lot of money, and then six months into your relationship, he loses his job. Are you ready to step up to the plate? It or depends do you leave on that his man? Because his now he doesn't... Well, let's just say something drastic happens and he has to be care of. God forbid he something happens and now he has to be paralyzed. Are you willing to take care of him lies. for the rest of his life? And we six months. No, this is no. I'm being serious. I know that this. Oh man, you you've been watching too much TV. You remember when that girl pushed him off in the wheelchair to the water? Well, honestly, <laughs> what? No, no. Well, I want you to continue. I don't know. I but. really can't say because I'm not in that predicament. You know what I'm saying? But. You know, you know, God forbid, I hope nothing like that will happen. But, you know, I'm going to be your honey. I'm not, I'm not in no, in no position to, like, take care of a man like that, especially six months into a relationship. So, no, I, I'm yes, not. Yes, you I'm is. Not, is your goal, Yolanda, is your goal, is your goal marriage? Is my goal marriage. You know what, it used to be, but I'm 52 now, so it, it doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> I'm 52 now. I done took my ball and went home, Kendra. Lady, ladies and gentlemen, what we are experiencing here are these are delusions of of the shadow realm. No, not delusions of no man's land. We have we we have since uh went past no man's land and Mach 5 speed. We are dead smack in the Far end corridor, far end corridor of the shadow realm. And the and these are the cries. These are the cries that you hear in the shadow realm. They spooky. <laughs> so here we go. Yeah, this one here. Uh yeah, you gotta pay to play. Uh, a man said it best. You so gotta you, pay to play. If you can find love, if that man works, you know, at whatever job mm -hmm. and is a good man. And is good to you, mm -hmm. and honors and honors the house, and honors his wife, and does what he can. Mm -hmm. And as long as he's secure in himself to mm -hmm. know that, yep, she makes most of the money. All I can pay is the light bill. As long as she's comfortable enough to say, I'm going to cover the mortgage and all the other stuff. You can the light bill, baby. You can take me to dinner every now and then. Mm -hmm. That is fine. Yeah. That's it. At, you get light bill, shorty at best. That's at, at, at absolute best. Head absolute best man but she said she won't do it she said i won't she said i ain't paying for no trips she said I, she she's so scorned and hurt she said them them brown tears coming out her ass she said she said i done bought all the jordans i'm about kendra i done bought all the nike sweatsuits i'm about it's over i shan't do it no more she said i'll if i can't get mr six figures six foot tall stroking uh, ugh. Stroking me like I like, I will end this thing out by myself. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, okay. Well, the only reason I, only reason I brought that scenario up because I, like, that, yeah, there might have been a Tyler Perry movie, but I actually know a real life scenario of that of a woman who she's been married to it was more than six months to be fair was married to her husband was an athlete and he got hurt and then now he's paralyzed but as a wife that's still her husband so her whole life changed drastically so i think a lot of times y'all y'all want to be y'all want to be married but i don't know if y'all want to be wife. now in your case you're saying you don't know if you want to be a wife so this really doesn't apply to you because you're being open eyes but i think a lot of women and I always tell y'all, talk to married people because I understand the money desire, but married folks will tell you things go up and down. One month or one couple years, he might be up, Kendra, and this thing I might change, and I got know. to be up, my and I got to take care of the family. My only child and my daddy died the same day, two hours apart. My mama seven months before. I know things can change drastically. What? I promise you, I know. You know, but like I said, I'm. I, I, I couldn't see myself. I'm, 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 I'm living life right now. I just bought a whole fucking boat. 
Man, I'm, I'm living life right now. My what? Boy, I'm finna buy another boat because I want a bigger one, so that means my dick then got bigger. I'm real cocky. So, hey, that's just me. Yeah, you got your dick yeah. that I Jordan, Eric Jordan, we miss your super chat, brother. He said only qualify for the submarine, huh? Oh, 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 bruh. God damn. Oh, hold on. Hold on. What you got, Mr. Wallace? That was a lot. Hmm? I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I it's it's the confessions. The confessions of a centurion <laughs> gatekeeper. She said, Look, Kendra, I got she she had to get it. She said, She's I'm 52. She said, I gotta get my rocks off. So this is gonna be my last time. She said, Kendra, I just bought a boat. About to buy another one. She sound like a boisterous man. She said, "I done bought. I'm buying boats. I want boats and holes. My meat is big." <laughs> she, this this woman, this I ain't gonna call. I'm not gonna insult women and call her woman. No, this 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 human of a female origin <laughs> said that her. We need them got bigger. She said, Yeah, I got boats, I got yachts, I got she said, I got boats, motorcycles, and, and quads, ATVs. My weenie get bigger every time I buy a new toy. Oh, so God. now now is Mr. Six Figures ready to get into this? Huh? What are we supposed to say? What are we supposed to say? Can I say? Man. <laughs> Where's Squeechy Kid? Squeaky huh. kid is getting real Chernobylish over here. Come on, man. <laughs> there we go. Shout out to my guy Double C. He says, "Don't nobody want granny that smell like tussy cream and Bing K and white diamonds." Yeah, <laughs> and Ooh. and fine and fine mothballs. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my guy, the classy perspective. He says, "Show just proved our points." She thinks she's a high value man. This is a handsome boy. Classy perspective. She don't think nothing. She is a high value man. This is a high value man. At least he got high value as far as resources. So she claims, ladies and gentlemen, this is your first gatekeeper high value man. Here you go. Oh, here we go. We gonna let her land this plane. I see my guy Walt. We appreciate the super sticker, Walt. This is rough. This, this gatekeeper trying to take us out of here. Yeah, she coming. She, this is a blitzkrieg of madness. There we go. And this big mind change, and I got to be up, and I got to take care of the My family. only child and my daddy died the same day, two hours apart. Trauma. My mom was seven months before. I know things can change drastically. I promise you, I know. You know, but like I said, I'm, I, I, I couldn't see myself. I'm, 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 I'm living life right now. I just bought a whole fucking boat. Man, I'm, I'm living life right now. My boat, I'm finna buy another boat because I want a bigger one. So that means my dick then got bigger. I'm real cocky. So, hey, that's just me. Yeah, you say your dick is yeah, got bigger. I mean by that, I, Wait a minute, you're, I mean are you still looking for a man or a woman? I'm real cocky. You feeling me? And like I said, me and this real like intimidated by women that really got their shit together. And I'm just one of them women who got their shit together. I'm just saying, I promise you, all I do is shop. I just started working a job. I ain't worked a job in 14 years. I'm just really just doing it because like I said, I lost my only child. Stop moving the phone. Stop moving the phone, Yolanda. Keep the phone steady. Okay. Keep the phone steady. Okay. We're going to do the Kendra Cam when we see your full body. Can you get to the light? The Kendra Cam. I don't know what y'all can see, but. Okay. I'm trying to see your legs. I like you. I like you in shape. 
I think uh, Grandma got them old boobies out. Where you at, Theo? Little motorboat, motorboat? Huh? <laughs> yeah! Boom, Takalaka! I tell you what, I thought she was going to be blowed out. I give her that. I thought she, from her, as big and round as her head is, I thought she was blowed out. Big pie head. <laughs> yeah, another pie face. <laughs> another pie face on the screen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, okay. So, Big Shirley, yeah, keep playing. Nug, 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 a cometh. The nug, nug, a cometh. Don't you, don't you fret, big boss chick. That's the only uh, thing you get. You get this sister get scamming, scheming, nug nug at absolute best. And ain't no need to even talk about this over. This was epic. She got a whole weenie, so she claimed she shouldn't have she said it. And thank you, Kendra. Don't let it slide. Kendra said, So what you look for, man or woman with, with your with your big me half itself? What you want? She said, Nah, I'm just so cocky. Guys intimidated because I'm so cocky. <laughs> <laughs> and she come, like I said, she come up here. This well, this is grandma. She got the one piece cat suit on. She got the glow ruler choker chain. Grandma is no Keisha. Oh God, I'm nigga free. Yes. Oh yes. This is what this is what no Keisha evolved. This is this is no. Oh my goodness. This is boss chick no Keisha's ultimate form. This is it. She done, she done pupated it. She done came up out her cocoon, and here she is. She's like, I'm buying boats out this hole. I'm buying boats, Kendra. <laughs> give me my man. I got boats. Now give me my holes. Boats and holes. <laughs> oh, here we go, man. Shout out to Jay Gray for the super chat. He says, I can't take Bill Duke with the wig serious. Oh, my. Yeah! Boom, Takalaka! Yo, you, be you better. You better take him serious. Here we go. I'm at the beach right now, y'all. My okay. hair looks a mess, but I'm the shit. <laughs> oh, Yolanda, when was your last relationship Ooh, I've been again? single for 14 years, 15 years. 15 years you've been single, Five. and you've been celibate for how long? Five years. Okay. So, um, what are three flaws that you have to work on, Yolanda? Okay. Keep the phone steady. Yolanda, how do you get all this damn money and ain't got no good life? I'm at the beach right now, Ken, so I'm at the you. beach. I'm on Lakeshore Drive. I'm really, like, at the beach. You see? I'm at the beach. Okay, you got to get steady, though, Yolanda. So like, you got, you got a lot going so on. I'm trying could, to work you know. it. Stay in the light. So, turn around. You want to face the light. So, face the headlights so we Is get the better? best light for you. This is the best light. So, stay right there. This is the best light. What are three flaws you have to work three on, Yolanda? I have to work on my mouth, my cockiness, and um, I guess my deliverance. That's two. So is there another one? Um, my cockiness, my mouth, my deliverance. That's it. What you drinking, Kendra? That's it. What you Say, drinking? Hey, one more time. Oh, okay. I'm not drinking no alcohol. That's something to keep me awake. Something to keep me awake as I talk to crazy <laughs> ass people like you, Delanda. You know, I probably do you need some alcohol substance I'm definitely after talking crazy. to your ass. I'm definitely you gonna drive crazy. me to Yolanda, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I'm loving, I'm fun, I'm loyal, you know, I'm not no insecure female, you know, and every man deserves something good. What? Yeah. Every man deserves something good. All right, Yolanda, do you want the guy no, to be in Chicago? Read the phone down. What's the age range you would date? You're 52. 47 to 40. Yolanda, look at the damn camera so I can see yourself. to like maybe like 55, 56. 55 to what, honey? We ain't going over 57. 56, all right. All right, so here's Yolanda. She's in Chicago, 52 of Capricorn, no kids. She's a boss. She owns properties. Uh, she just bought a boat. Non-negotiable requirements. She's five feet, but you got to be at least six feet. You have to make at least six figures, 90K, won't even cut it. She ain't playing those games. 
She's been single for yep. 15 years, celibate yep. for five years, and if she doesn't meet a man that meets her requirements, she's okay because she knows in her next lifetime, God will yes, give her what she it. desires. You get it. Now, Yolanda, I got to tell you. Here we go. We didn't even hit on that. We just, we just let that go. Yeah. Oh, so, it, she gonna say so, in the, in the next lifetime, God got her. In the next lifetime, oh my, there we here we go, here we go. <laughs> Please observe this. This here, this is a pivotal moment in the fall of the gynocracy. So, so now there you go. They cope. They coping. Cognitive dissonance. Look it up. They like I be dang. They know it's wrong, but they still doing it. And they got to justify their reality. So at some point, she like you know she's I got all these trinkets. I got Louis Vuitton and Gucci and Benz and boats and yachts. She like you know what? But I done messed up somewhere along the way because I so lonely. But that's fine because when I perish, I'm coming back. As a tree, she said, I'm gonna come back as a tree or a 304. Mm -hmm. But one way or another, I'm gonna get me some meat when I come back. She said, I ain't gotta get my meat this time around. I'm gonna get meat when I come back. Welcome. Yes, oh auntie. Enough of this singing. Let's make a All right. Woo. Here we auntie, go, man. Auntie said, she said, I will have like my man off a of gladiator. She said, I will have my meat in this life or the next. You mark my words. I will have my meat. <laughs> <laughs> so it's last words. Nobody's ever said I will not bend because in my next lifetime, God got me. Oh, now, I've got never me, heard baby. that one before. He got me. Because right now I'm just doing this serving like he got me doing it. But next time, it's going to be a tree or a hoe. One or the other. What? Yeah, one of these, a tree or a hoe? Like, I've been going through celibates for years. This ain't my first time doing this shit. Girl, look, I'm just a woman that know her work. When you know your work, you don't play with me. You just don't play with them. Once you know your work, you don't have time for all that old extra stuff and life and all that. Because you know your work. You know what I'm saying? A woman, check I think, this out. Listen, I think what your a woman might be, is but it's your to date. All the men she want to date. It goes to free game for you, ladies. You feeling me? If a man want to take you out, go out. Get that man. He want to buy you some shoes. Get them shoes. It don't matter. You're not obligated to, to have sex with none of these men. Because the man that wants you, he's not going to let you get away. So until then, go out and get all the free shit you can get. Just that simple. You're just being 100 with you. So this is the goal to, no, to get the free stuff to get from free men. Stuff. It's not a goal to get anything. It's a goal to just to meet these men because a man mind is already made up. He already know if he want to fuck you, if he want to make you his mistress, if he want you to be a side bitch. Oh, I'm finna marry this bitch. He, his mind is already made up. He's already willing to do whatever he got to do to score. You feel me? So... If if, if 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 that's how it's going down, you gotta get to know it, man. So, like I say, it just go out. So okay, cause you, ladies, if y'all listen to her, what Kale's I didn't. Is this camera on me? <laughs> yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Don't take no advice from this woman. Seriously, it. If you, if any of y'all's ears perked up when she talking about she gonna put y'all on game. Y'all deserve the outcomes y'all get. Go ahead and listen to her. Oh. You must, you absolutely must consider the source. Do you wish for your outcome to resemble hers? Then go ahead. Do you wish to be on the beach at night <laughs> by your lonesome with your car's headlights in your face? Get the context. Big Boss Bay here. Big Boss Chick. It's nighttime. She outside on the beach by herself. Nighttime. Got her car headlights in her face on the Kendra show. Talking about how she need a man. She demanding a man making 600 k This is this, this is like the shining. 
that it's just it's pure madness. Absolutely. Tell madness. you what, I got one word for you, Auntie. It's the thank you morning now. Wait till tonight. Ooh. Wait till tonight. I know she uh, got some fine, some good bourbon at home waiting on her. She gonna grab that bourbon and Bobby Womack, and yeah, she gonna let the tears flow. Uh. <laughs> when it's cold outside, who are you holding? Look at them eyes, Bobby Womack, all in the eyes. <laughs> Here we go. That stuff about get free stuff. So. And you correct me if I'm wrong. Is the narrative to only date? I don't, I don't date, period. And the only reason I don't, and I know my game is good, but I don't because I'm just not that type of woman. I could go out and freak, get all type of stuff. But Shout out to Theo. Theo doing God's work, Theo. Hey, hey, hey. hey Theo, we're going to blow Theo's high. Theo's in the chat. Theo said she but she got to be about done. I said, he said she got we got to be at the end. And she keep talking. Theo said, "God dang it." We appreciate you, Theo. Come through <laughs> with the skip button, people. Oh. Theo says, "Bad advice, babe. You're no no uh, no bring it, ma'am. Skip." <laughs> yeah. Boom, <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was epic. Whoa, this gatekeeper here was impressive. Impressive gatekeeper. She should not be forgotten anytime soon. Yes, you have gave me some uh some funny trauma. Thank you, uh, uh Centurion gatekeeper. That was amazing. That was amazing. All gas. So here we go. This woman here, this whole time, people, she been talking to us about some damn boat. But little does she know, she thought she bought a boat. She ended up buying a submarine. <laughs> Shout out to Tracy Ann. Tracy Ann got the rope. We gonna tie her down. Adios. Adios. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, diamond wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. The bioluminescent creatures. I kept wondering where he was getting that from. And I was like, oh, the dude saying in the thing, y'all hey, out of pocket. Hey, that's so funny. Cause they say the that narrator saying, so the Braca, the gatekeepers, they down there in that sub, and it's getting dark. And this, you can't see your hand in front of your face, and they just looking outside the window, trying to catch images of light from bioluminescent creatures. So they just said utter darkness and despair. Mm -hmm. And they just looking for any sign of light. So they just looking outside, looking at creatures, <laughs> trying to see uh -huh. what's going to glow. <laughs> God, <laughs> oh, man. That's so bad. Oh, the so despair. here we go. Ooh, there you go. Appreciate you, Tracy Ann. The best rope I have ever bought. <laughs> yeah! Boom, uh, oh. mm. Tracy Ann, tonight you have earned your sainthood. Saint, Saint Tracy Ann, thank you. There you go, along with Theo. So you and Theo tag team. She got the rope. Theo got the sub warmed up. We appreciate y'all. Oh, man. Uh, Where we at? My guy, Project Leroy, come to. He said, for her, it's the rose or munch on her own kuda kata. Ooh. <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, this woman, he, here we go. She talking all that, Project Leroy? Why y'all want to do this? You know they are, boy. Why are you, why are we doing this? I right, listen. We're gonna do it though. Her <laughs> box. The price of her box, Project Leroy. After all that, after all that, this is what Nug Nug gonna leave on the table. A hot 40 people. Yeah! <laughs> <Boom -shakalaka>. Huh? <laughs> That's the Whoa. price of the box. Whoa! The box. Whoa! 
Whoa! What? Whoa! Whoa! What? <laughs> God damn! Huh? Damn, son, where'd you find this? That's a hot forty, Mister Walker. What? Forty bucks. Yo, I swear for Lord, if any of y'all sisters allow forty bucks is bad enough, but <laughs> if you allow this ninja. To put this raggedy ass display of $40 and then these two little cigarettes. So for y'all that don't know, for that, the, for the, God, Gavin, you ain't worth a damn. For those of you that don't know, that's 50 cent a piece right there. All right. So that, that's what we got here. You got them two loose boys. So, so Nug Nug, go slap that down on that dresser. You better go sad, Nug Nugs. Hey, put down them two loose cigarettes. That raggedy ass forward. I swear for Lord. I swear. <laughs> and, and, and stop the cap. And he conversate there long enough. He's going to grab them two Lucy's on his way back out and probably <laughs> suffer the 40. You better stop playing. Oh, that's a struggle 40. That is a struggle 40. All right. All right. Yeah, them ones. Them ones look like they've been laced with cocaine. All right, if y'all know what I'm saying, somebody done robed them ones up. They done did a couple lines. All right, all that. So it's, some dirty look, money. That's the definition. It's too many bills, too many different bills there to get to 40. That's that's what we call a struggle for. Uh, obviously, it's two uh, cigarettes there. So uh, that's what I'll say. The struggle is in uh, place. A struggle 40, baby. <laughs> so we say all that to say that's the price of her box, people. Yeah. Oh, oh, Lord. She deserved all that. That was she deserved. See there, that King Centurion gatekeeper. She was that was dang near Darth Vader himself, right there. Oh, uh, so there we go. Ah, uh, that almost took me out. Oh, oh Lord, oh. you deserve that, Auntie. You talked a lot. You deserve every last, every, you deserve both of them cigarettes, both of them.